I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Billy bookcase, detailed instructions, step by step, with a lot of details. I'm gonna give you a few tips regarding the ceiling height. And then as a bonus, I show you this, you're not gonna find it in the instruction. I'm gonna explain how to join the bookcases together, how to line them up nicely next to each other if you have more than one Billy bookcase, what do you need for it and everything you need to know about it. And at the end, we're gonna fix the Billy bookcase together. So I'm gonna show you how to attach the Billy bookcase to the wall. Let's do it. And you have one box with this Billy bookcase. I'm gonna open it up just for you to see how much stuff you have in the box. Manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video here. This is all the panels you're getting with the Billy bookcase, screws and brackets for the wall fixing. And this is the back panel. Good practice, put the cardboard on the floor, especially if you have the wooden floor, so you're not gonna scratch the floor while you're assembling. And we're starting with the side panels and we position them this way. So the white part is facing each other and the outer part, the back part is on the outer side. Good practice, organize your screws, you can have a better idea what you're working with. So screws with the wall bracket and we're starting with the bottom panel that's the slim panel you're gonna have only one and we place two wooden plugs on each side just place them in secure it with the hammer now we're gonna sort out the bottom top and middle panel all of them the same size same holes so we're gonna place two wooden plugs on each side and it's the outer holes on the panel so two for each side of those three panels. Now we can place the locks. We're gonna have a plastic locks in this case. That's the ones. And on each plastic lock, you have a arrow at the front. So the arrow is supposed to face always the front hole. Just place it in, arrow facing the hole. There it is, push it all the way down. Make this step right, otherwise you're gonna have a problem when you're gonna connect the side top or middle panel to the side panels. So the arrow always facing to the front hole. There's the arrow on the lock, there's this opening on the lock, that means that's where the head of the screw gonna come. And once you twist the lock, that's gonna lock the head of the screw. Once you do that on both sides, so you have two plastic locks on each side, you can start with those screws. Useful tools, bigger electric screwdriver, this combination screwdriver and a drill, fantastic tool. You have an adjustable torque, battery lasting forever and a small screwdriver for the smaller screws. All the links for the tools you can find in the description if you like to see what I'm using. And here is those two screws with a stopper at the bottom, on the middle. Go just till the stopper, not deeper or not higher, otherwise you're gonna have a problem to lock the screws and we're gonna have two of these screws on the top as well. Two at the bottom, two on the middle and two on the top. Exactly the same for the other side panel. Two on the top, two on the middle, screw going in just till the stopper and exactly the same on the bottom. Two screws, secure them in. And now we're gonna position the bottom panel so the front is white at the back is raw. You got those locks, so those locks at the bottom are gonna face down. So on the top, you see here, you don't see the top at the locks on the bottom panel. So we position them the clear part out and the locks at the bottom. Just place it in and twist the lock to the right side. That's how we secure the connection. We have the bottom panel, there's no locks on this one, just the wooden plugs to just place it in. There it is. Middle panel, the lock's gonna face down, so the clear part gonna be at the front. Don't forget the white part of the front, that's how it is. So from the bottom you see, but from the top when you look at it, you don't see it. So we position the locks at the bottom and place it in. Find the red holes, twist the locks to the right side, secure the connection. On the top, the lock's gonna be up, so you're not gonna see them just like that you see from the bottom you don't see them because they are on the top so the bottom is gonna be clear place it in and secure the locks from the top just twist it to the right side 
and now we're gonna place the top panel if you're alone here just put the one side in then middle and then the bottom if it's two of you you can do this at the same time one on the one side another one on another side but this is slim panel so it's easy to do just for one no problem at all just place it all in there is no gap between the side panels and dividing panels find the right holes tap it in and secure the connection two locks on the top twist it to the right side two locks on the middle those locks are the bottom don't forget if you put panel the other way around you're gonna see it when once you build the uh, bookcase and at the bottom the locks are down on the bottom side here we have a back panel it's folding in free it's quite hard to slip that in you're gonna have enough space behind the bookcase but it's not that difficult just find those gaps on the side panel slide it in at the same time on both sides push it all the way in here mark the middle part because you're gonna put the nails on the middle part so you can just do the line after and once you get to the middle just lift it up with one finger and get over the middle part just like that and on the top it's gonna be exactly the same just lift the back panel up slightly and there it is line up on the top the back panel with the top panel nicely and check if at the bottom is lining up nicely as well once it does just to make sure the bookcase in, is in the right position we can measure from corner to corner you should get this exactly the same number and that would mean the bookcase is in the right position so each corner in the bookcase is going to be 90 degrees now we're going to secure the back panel with the nails do first one side then the other side so the bookcase is not going to move so one nail on the top one on the bottom now you can uh, do the line just on the middle so that's going to be the middle of the middle panel so we mark it before just on the middle of the middle panel and we can place all the nails for the middle panel and finish it the top and the bottom panel here go right on the middle you don't want the nails come out from the other side so make sure you're beating them right on the middle of the panel now we're gonna secure these wall brackets so this is l-shaped bracket which you can secure the bookcase to the wall i'm going right on the edge here i'm not using the washers which you have in the box you can use but those heads on the screws are bigger than the hole in the bracket so i'm not using them instead the screw can go slightly more inside without the washer and you can just lay them with the back panel you can push them slightly outer because the side panel is coming a little bit out make sure that your ceiling is high enough you see here i'm quite tight but it's still okay to build it on the floor if your ceiling is too low you're gonna have to build it to build the bookcase upright in this case we have a few more centimeters there so it's okay to build it on the floor and that's how the bracket look like you see it's lining up with the back panel but you can push it slightly out because the side panels are sticking out from the back a few centimeters especially if you have skirting board you can push it a bit outer now we're gonna put the shelves in so it's just a simple metal plug there's no screw on those ones and uh, the sharp part is pointing up here just do one side usually if I have the one bookcase already next to it already so I just uh, mirroring all the shelves so I do one side then I put the shelves and uh, on the other side I just place the plug once the shelf is holding on one side so I don't need to count the holes on the other side easy to make mistake I'll show you in a bit I even didn't realize and I wasn't uh, exactly straight with one shelf but easy fix there is no screws or nothing just pull the plug out and change the shelf so here you see that one side is fixed already so I'm just focusing on the other side and tap it in it's gonna come nicely in the round part of the of the plug so one side once you think is straight just place the plugs in and push it down the shelf is secure I think this one is gonna be the not straight one I'm gonna realize that a little bit later on because once when you're too close the shelves look kind of straight but once you go a bit further out from the bookcase the shelf's gonna look a bit funny you see the right side is slightly higher than the left one I didn't realize that at this point but they're gonna find out later on okay the bottom shelf exactly the same just place it in 
and there it is. We're gonna have a bookcase just next to it. And now you see there is a gap on the between the bookcase. This you're not gonna find in IKEA instructions. This is just my tip uh, for you as an extra. So these joining screws, you can find them in the packs wardrobes. Here I find out finally the shelf is slightly up. They're gonna change that. So what I was saying, um, these joining screws, you're not gonna find it in the in the instructions for this bookcase. Uh, if you have any spares from IKEA Pax wardrobes, they use them there, or you can get them from any DIY shop. So this is the thing to join the bookcases together. You're gonna drill it from one side to the other side and just join them nicely. So the bookcase is gonna lining up nicely. This especially if you have more bookcases next to, next to each other. So it's gonna look nice and flush. Not gonna open as this bookcase is quite slim. So you don't have, not gonna have any gaps there. So just drill it. See this screw driver is combination with the drill as well. So it's very universal, fantastic tool. You can find it. In the description if you like to see what is it exactly and the small one great for the small screws so just drill it through and join the joining screws and nice the gap is disappeared exactly the same at the bottom just drill it through one side to the other side i've been drilling through the pre-drill holes already only have to push it slightly more because we're gonna go all the way to the other bookcase this advantage you're gonna have a hole once you wanna separate the bookcases, but in this case, this small office, this bookcase is gonna stay together like this, so they're gonna be fine. And the joining, join with the joining screws, nice and flush, you see, beautifully lining up. And we're gonna do exactly the same for the last one. Just join it together on the top, at the bottom. Place the joining screw from the one side to the other side and join together, nice and flush. That's how I like it. This is the bottom last one. Secure it. There it is. Nice flash all bookcases. Now we're gonna do the we're gonna fix them to the wall. In this case I was lucky as we have a wood behind the plasterboard wall, so I don't need to use any wall plugs first. Good practice if you have uh, any other type of uh, wall, you don't know what is behind it, check the wall first with the wall scanner, what is behind it, you don't want to do through any pipes or uh, electric wires, so check if there is nothing behind the wall and then choose the right wall plugs, depend on the type of the wall you have, if there is a solid wall or plasterboard wall or whatever type of wall. So as I mentioned in this case we have a wooden stud behind the plasterboard wall so that's fantastic i don't need to use any wooden plugs just go straight through the uh, l-shaped bracket to the wall and secure the bookcases to the wall you see i position the l bracket right on the line with the back panel and once you push the screw in it automatically tied up close to the wall the bracket adjust it itself. If you have a skirting board at the bottom, position the brackets a bit more out so you don't need to push it that hard, especially if you have wall plugs, you can pull the wall plugs out. In this case, the wood is the solid, so I know it's gonna push the brackets. I'm not using the washers there because I have um, screws I have have a big head. If the screws you have have a smaller head, use the washers which IKEA give you in the, in the back. And this is it for IKEA Billy Bookcase. I hope you enjoy it. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as always and see you in my next one very very soon. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.